In this lecture, we will talk about how you should use icons in web design. Icons can be a very important part of a web designer's work. Icons improve the aesthetic of our websites and can provide a better user experience if well used. It is actually pretty incredible how much power icons have in determining the look and feel of an entire website. But icons can also cause user confusion when poorly used. This is why there are some very simple basic guidelines you should follow. First, you can use icons to show features of your website or a product that you're selling, or steps that a user should follow to achieve some goal. This is a powerful, modern and beautiful way of showing what your site has to offer. Icons actually help the user to quickly browse through a page and get an idea what the website is all about. So I strongly recommend you to use icons in your design in these situations. And here you have some inspiration for how to use icons to show features of a website. The possibilities are endless, as you can see from all these examples. Or instead of showing features, you can use icons for actions and links. Popular websites like Facebook or YouTube do exactly this. And I'm sure you see this all the time. In the case you use icons for doing this, there are two rules to follow. First, your icons should be instantaneously recognizable and remove open interpretation. And second, label your icons if you have enough space to do so, because otherwise you may confuse your users. And whatever you do with icons, they should not take a center stage in your design. Instead, they should play a supporting role. For example, take this beautiful website. I know it's very small and you can't read the text actually, but what matters here is that it's not covered with icons everywhere. There are just these three icons that have like a supporting rule, in this case to list the features of the product. Now, there are two types of icon formats, icons in form of images and icon fonts. Icon fonts use smooth vector images instead of common raster images to display icons on your website. I strongly recommend you to use icon fonts for web design whenever possible. And that's because vectors scale endlessly up or down for any resolution. This is especially important for today's high resolution displays found in most smartphones and some computers such as the Retina Max. And don't worry, you don't have to design any icons by yourself, of course. As with images, there are tons of online resources where you can get free icon sets. And as before, I share some of them in the course ebook with you.